Okay, I'm going to take a look at these adapters. I've been collecting these probably since the 80s and I've picked them up all in the wild. I've never gone online to try and buy any or anything like that. Uh, maybe one day I will uh, look into doing that, but for now, these have, uh, I've picked these all up in person and uh, there's some distinct different designs as well as some slight variants. So we're going to take a look, see at them. Uh, this is probably, this has to be probably one of the earlier ones for sure. Getting a lot of shadow here, I apologize for that. There we go. Uh, that's uh, Webster Corporation, Chicago. It's a heavy alloy metal adapter. Could possibly be for as far back as the late 40s. And this one is a fan steel aluminum. And uh, fan steel is a company that's been in business for a good 90 years, and I think they still might be in production. Um, I only did a brief uh, Google search on them, and uh, yeah, they've been around for sure. Uh, this was a pretty neat one. It's a Fidelitone, and uh, some people make these into jewelry. They you know paint them up or whatever, and put a chain on them and uh, wear them as a necklace. Uh, this one's the classic design that everybody knows, and this is actually marked by the uh, company name, which is Starbright. Uh, most of them that you see will be similar to this one, uh, just marked Made in USA or USA 45 adapter. Uh, yeah, this is the classic design that everybody knows. So I have a few variants of that. This one I think might be newer as it is not marked at all. So it could be just made from old molds. Um, it could be 10 years old, it could be 20 years old, it could be 30 years old, who knows. Okay, here's another design. Um, this one is just uh, like, you know, 45 adapter, no, no name, anything like that. Similar, similar one here, 45 RPM, and this one's got uh, 45 RPM adapter on it, and this one's a little bit different here. Now this one's very similar to the classic Star Bright design, but it has spokes. Now this one's pretty cool. It's like a wagon wheel design. It's actually main. It's all actually marked by the name of the maker, and that is a Morse Manufacturing Company, uh, Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Now I absolutely love this one. It's just so unusual, and uh, it's made by the Philco Company. It's on translucent plastic, and it just looks really, really cool. Okay, these are these are quite unusual. Um, this one is not marked, but this one is, and uh, it's got some initials on it. You can see them there. It's like K P L M S T and a half. And there's some other numbers there. Okay, these are the kinds that, you know, when you buy a record player, you would get the, the adapter with it. And uh, I don't know what these are from. These first two, I don't know what those are from. I'm pretty sure that both of those are BSR. They're pretty, pretty basic, but the uh, thickness of the adapter is different. And they've got the little slot there. See it for, let's see if I can get it. There it is. See the little notch for the uh, spindle that uh, would actually change records. Now this one I, I've had since the late 70s. This one right here. 
and uh, I bought it a BSR turntable and that came with it so yeah this is one I actually use because it's just it's so thick it's easy to grab and uh, yeah this is the one that I use so that's my collection uh, maybe one day I will uh, look on eBay and see if there's anything that uh, I'd like to add to my collection but yeah I picked like I said I picked these all up in the wild probably dating back to the 80s so uh, hope there was a few you've never seen if you have any that I don't have let me know I'd, I'd like to know what's out there so uh, that's gonna do it for the video and uh, catch you in the future later